it's Andre for the High Performance Academy and I'm here with Robbie from AIM. Now I walked past their stand and I noticed their brand new VCU which uh, initially I had a quick look and thought it just looked like a power distribution module which we've seen from a bunch of manufacturers. We got chatting to Robbie and found out that there's a little bit more to this product than just a power distribution module. So Robbie, first of all this product's so new you can't even tell us when it's going to be released, is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Um, we have no anticipated release date for this system, but it's a, it's a giant step for our company and we're, we're excited to take it, but uh, it, we need to make sure it's right for the end user. Sure. Now, it is a PDM of sorts, it does power distribution, but it does a hell of a lot more than just that. Tell us what it actually does do. Well, uh, we like to call it a, a VCU system, a vehicle control system, because um, ideally the car should be built around this this system. It's a data logger, which uh, we are known for. It's our company. It's um, data logging and, and data analysis. Now we're taking a step forward with our systems and, and trying to really build the car and integrate um, everything we can with it. So we're able to uh, dictate power on certain pins. We'll be able to do 20 amps um, continuous on our pins with 100 amp peak power. Um, the benefit of having it as a data logger system as well as a uh, power distribution module is that the, the system itself can, there, there's no processing of secondary information. We can control information, send it out, and we can re relay that information directly to the ECU or to the, uh, the DASH system for user interface. So you, you're doing everything from that one spot, it's taking, uh, taking sort of basically two products and, and combining them together which from, from my perspective makes a lot of sense. Now you're still you're known for your dashes and this uh, product will talk to your existing dashes so I'm, I'm taking it instead of now sending analog inputs and digital inputs up to the dash everything's going to this VCU, this vehicle, vehicle control unit and then you can communicate with the dash much more simply? That's it, yeah. Um, before it was a secondary product, you would you would purchase it, add it to your system. Uh, now this is going to be your entire system. You'll be able to you'll be able to run exactly what you need and nothing else because you'll be in control of the the pinout design, the harnessing. It's all user defined. So this is basically bringing everything together in one unit so it's simplifying the ECU, the wiring installation in a car which these days is getting a lot more complicated making it a, a lot more simple for the, the end user to design and install? Yes, absolutely. It, it still has its complexity. Um, the system itself is a lot to wrap your mind around but once uh, once once you dive in, it, it becomes almost intuitive how you're going to design it because you get to you get to decide. You're you're, you're building your own schematic at this point. We get to um, define if you want to send 12 volts or 5 volts down a specific pin, and a simple config configuration change will will change that single pin into a 12 volt or a 5 volt lead. And for from a data logging standpoint, you can have an old sensor, it breaks. Your the new sensor is 12 volt operated. We don't have to run a new line anymore. We can change our configuration and it'll run a 12 volt directly to that sensor so we system changes uh, fuel pressure or fuel pumps that that get changed uh, for the fuel tanks we'll be able to just recode the wires that we already have down there for what we need in terms of the power control side of the the product uh, is it too early for you to be able to tell us how many outputs and how many amps on those outputs we're likely to be able to handle well, we'll be able to do, um, the, the amount is, is something that we haven't really decided on yet, but from, from a power uh, current standpoint, we'll be able to do 20 amps um, with a 100 amp peak. Um, and that's, that's on the main, uh, the main harness that we employ. The secondary harnesses that, that will be made will all be 7.5 amps. And if a current, a larger current is needed, we'll be able to double up pins and, and duplicate a, a larger current for specific devices. So um, 16 uh, on the 100 amp. And then depending on how much power we can push out of this system is going to really depend on how many 7.5 amps that we have. Okay, and I mean that brings us back to the fact the product is so new, basically it, it's, it's not got a release date so there's obviously still some development from AIM's perspective to go into it before all of those parameters are finalised, is that, is that fair to say? Absolutely, yeah. Um, I mean this is the first time that, that I really got to sit down and, and mess with the product and see how we're going to, uh, how we're going to implement it in, in our markets and, and from for me, it was it was fantastic. I, I never got, I've never had 
um, such an opportunity. And the fact that we're showing it to the public the same time that, that we're seeing it as well is, is kind of uh, unique. Um, so it gives everyone a chance to learn about it at the same time. Now, getting that data from the vehicle control unit out to a display, now we don't need a display unit that can data log, obviously, because that's all being done through the VCU. Are you going to be able to communicate with a cheaper display-only module as opposed to your dash loggers? Absolutely, yeah. We're not gonna. It's not going to be the same price as a data logging system, um, but the the displays will be will be a, a reduced price because the displays are really a computer monitor. We won't we won't be using the displays for any function except for the the feedback to the driver. So we will be able to display. We'll be able to control the display, um, how the how it looks, how it feels, the different pages of information that are displayed. But really, it's just a screen, and and it's just for the driver. So there's not going to be a huge a huge increase in. Uh, um, and having adding another data logger to the system. There's no need for it anymore because we'll be controlling uh, 16 channels off of the, the data logging system, off of the harness, and then we'll be able to expand upon it from there. So, Now with this product being so new, not to put you on the spot, are we, we way too early to be able to give some indication of a price point for it? Um, price, it's been... It is, it is a bit early to talk about price. Uh, we, just, we just don't know how much it's going to cost us or... or even if it's a product that we're more comfortable, you know, selling for for our customers. So, I understood it is brand new, and, and obviously there's very little information out there. If uh, people are interested in this product and, and are looking forward to its launch, how would they stay up to date? Where can they go to get more information? Uh, well, we have a newsletter. Every time you download our software, there's an option to uh, subscribe to our newsletter. You can also find it at aimsports.com um, under the. Um, support section. There's a newsletter section, and we'll, we'll always update it. That's the first line of our updates. So you're more than welcome to call us direct. But um, every time we release new product or we have anything new that um, breaks the the aim mold, we'll put it up in the newsletter. Hey, cool, Robbie. Look, thanks for giving us the inside scoop on a, a product that we look forward to seeing hit the market. Thanks a lot. Sure, no problem. For online tuning courses, visit learntotune.com.